Hi, Rabbi Ariel Rakowski reporting live from the Blue Room at MJE at the Jewish Center on the 10th floor, and welcome to Parsha Ponderables. The Kliyakar has a fascinating observation, Shlomo Ephraim Munchitz, as to what it could be, how it could be that Yaakov took advantage of Esau's vulnerability in inducing him to sell his birthright for a bowl of lentil soup. The Kliyakar explains, quoting Rashi, Rashi says that the bowl of lentil soup was for the Sudas Havra, the post-funeral repast after the funeral of Avraham. But the Kliyakar says that this is not what was, exactly what was going on. Yaakov was putting on a morality play. Esau was engaged in a high-risk lifestyle in which he was a hunter, and every day was committing acts of violence. And so he came home, and he's exhausted, and he's tired, and Yaakov was cooking a bowl of lentil soup to simulate Esau's Sudas Havra. The meal that would be made after Esau's demise, he was telling him, listen, Esau, you're living such a high-risk lifestyle. It's going to be you who's going to die soon. And Esau said, you're right. I am about to die. Yaakov was telling him, you live a life of such high risk, for such low yield, that you're going to make the drastic decisions for no good reason and for, with very little yield. And Esau agreed that he was living a high-risk lifestyle, but this wake-up call was completely lost on him. We all have moments in life that are supposed to be wake-up calls for us, and our challenge is to be attuned to them and not let them slip by, to use them for the transformative powers that they can have. Of course, the Kliyakar's explanation is just one of many, and I leave it to you, the members of the Jewish Center family, to discuss at your Shabbat tables. I wish each and every one of you a Shabbat Shalom.